Hey, hi everyone. My name is Jerry Wise, and I want to talk to you today about narcissistic families and excuses they make for abusive behavior. Quite common. Many of these you have probably heard. Maybe you could even tell me more that you've heard from the narcissists in your family who have been abusive. And when we're children, we've gotten these arguments. As we've gotten older and maybe become adults, maybe we've stopped getting hit or physically abused, but we may be abused verbally or emotionally or financially in that way. And they will come out with their excuses to justify that be those behaviors. For example, well, it's for your own good. I'm doing this because I love you and it's for your own good. I had it much worse than you had it. If, you, if you're complaining about what's happening or what happened in the past, oh my gosh, my childhood was 10 times worse than that. Again, excuses for abusive behavior. You know, I think you're just too sensitive. I, you just need to grow up and take it. You, you don't have to be that sensitive. I didn't know I raised such a sensitive child. You could be five and they could be telling you that. You could be 55 and they could be telling you that. I'm your parent and I know best. Again, to justify and excuse bad behavior on their part. You made me do it. I had to do those things because you just wouldn't listen. You just wouldn't stop. So I had to smack you or I had to take that money away from you. Uh, that we had given you to help you with your house. Again, abusive behaviors and the excuses they give. You made me do it. I didn't want to do this. I never wanted to do this, but I didn't have any choice. How many times have I've heard that? It was just a joke. It wasn't serious. It was just, it wasn't really what you're thinking it was. Kind of a gaslighting excuse. You know, yeah, but it really did hurt financially, emotionally, physically. You know, oh, but it was just a joke. Well, a joke should involve both of us, not just one of us. And whenever somebody tells me that's a joke and I didn't like it or it was painful, I go, I think a joke is supposed to be shared by the parties, not a one-way joke. I think you're misremembering. I, I don't think you're, that isn't the way it went. That isn't what happened. You know, I know your dad could get upset, and I know, but, you know, I, I don't ever remember him hitting you with a belt. I know he could get upset, but I just don't think you're remembering that right. I was just under a lot of stress, or I'm under a lot of stress right now. So since I'm under a lot of stress, I should be able to do anything to you I want, because I'm under a lot of stress. Well, let me see if I can go to the judge and say, Your Honor, I was under a lot of stress and robbed that bank. Uh, but I was under a lot of stress. What do you think, Judge? Rump, 20 years. That's what I think. As adults, we can't get away with those excuses. We can only get away with those excuses in an unhealthy family, emotional environment is how we get away with those. It's your fault. You know, again, I didn't want to do it, but you kept, you did, you followed, you tried, you, and so I had no other choice. Well, we only wanted the best for you. And so that's why we took those steps. Steps? You know, when you beat a child, that's illegal. That's not a parenting step. That's a crime. You know, and no, no, it's just, you know, we were just trying to do what's best for you. Or I love the one, when you become a parent, you'll understand. Oh, dear God, I hope I never understand that way. But as kids, we took those in. And again, what problems did those kind of excuses create for, the, for us? And I want to talk about a program here in just a moment that I think can be of help to you. As children, these excuses were the beginnings of breaking down our sense of reality. At least we started questioning our reality. I was, okay, I got beaten. Or my, my mother just absconded with that deed that she shouldn't have that came from my grandparents, and she's being financially abusive. And, 
you know, there's no excuse for that. And so we would start to question our own reality. Well, well, maybe I'm wrong. And that's when we did start to question, am I right or are they right? And started to think, well, it's not them. It must be me. And as children, we started to think that. And even as adults, we can have doubts about that and go, well, maybe... Because no adult would do that unless they really felt justified in that. Oh, no, no, no. There are many adults who would do that when they have absolutely no justification for it. But we haven't come to realize that reality, maybe yet, and not fully. Second of all, as adults, we're in contact with the narcissistic family members, let's say, and we don't want to absorb their justifications. I don't want to ab absorb that nonsense that they're telling me. Well, yeah, I went to the bank and got that deed because I thought I needed to take care of that or get that to the accountant. And so my lawyer is now telling me I should hold on to it. And again, that's all nonsense. That's all a pretense. And I use mental and emotional tools of like Coca-Cola talk that, you know, they're just telling me these things because they think I was a Coke, a Coca-Cola. It's nonsense. It's ridiculous. And then, or also I may say, well, they're on their ridiculous tour again, that ridiculous comedy tour that they're on, because this makes absolutely no sense. Uh, and again, I may have to work that through to try to get the deed back or try to, you know, whatever I need to do legally or, but it's all nonsense. It's not reality. And I'm not going to give up my reality for their excuses because their excuses distort reality. And in fact, even growing to the point where I could actually be brave enough and self-differentiated enough, and again, not for the purpose of changing them, but for the purpose of keeping me detached, I might even be able to say, I'm listening, mom, but I'm just not believing. I hear what you're saying, and I can repeat it back to you. I'm just not believing that's the reality that you're telling me. But I can't change that except through a legal means or if you're wanting to be reasonable, but probably she doesn't. The program I'm talking about is your Road, your road to Self, which is down described in the description below. Click on that. Take a look at it. It is a way for you to begin to get your family of origin out of you and you to find your true self and be able to have a new and real life of your own. And I think the more people go through the program and even repeat it and repeat it, they get more benefit and more benefit. There are testimonials on there. Read them. I will never put up a fake testimonial. I don't have to. My own testimonials to using this work for myself I don't have to put up a fake testimonial. I, I was very much sold in thinking these ways and uh, truly finding a new self and real self for me. And I help, I help you with tools to build your immunity to others' abuse. Remember, they are free to gaslight you. Just don't gaslight yourself. Always focus on inner emotional self-care. This strengthens healthy emotional detachment. I hope you'll subscribe, like this video, comment, and thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and be wise.